up front, Jules Eriksson-Eck between Kirill Kaprizov and Matt Boldy is on a heater scoring goals, and we're underway. That went off a stick, and now Miller picks up the puck and sends it around to the near side. Besser back around to Miller. Over to greet him is Zach Bogosian. Puck ricochets in front. Marcus Johansson intercepted. Now a chance in front, and Miller passed it, trying to find Brock Besser. Lafferty overskated the puck. McKay up looking for him, but it's sent ahead by Zuccarello. And now played forward over the back of the line by Johansson. Here's a shot by Marco Rossi. Juleson played it up the far side, kept in there. And the Wild go to work. Behind the net. And a chance for Duhame got through. Duhame on the glove side after he does a quick elusive move getting away from Hronik and then tries to wedge this pass to Smith. Does so. Hits the elbow, hits the post. It's going to give a better view of what Duhame was trying to do. And then on the other side, it pops. drops to Boldy. Turning on the left wing. Matt Boldy to the slot. Shot by Merrill. Stopped by DeSmith as it came off Erickson Eck right in front, I think. And DeSmith able to make the save and cover the puck. Now the Wild chop the puck free. And here's Ryan Hartman carrying up. Three on two if they hurt. Hartman trying to go all the way across. Now a shot by Dewar is blocked. Try to pass. That's broken up. Rossi finds Johansson. He'll carry it on the left wing. Marcus Johansson to the slot. Drop pass. Zuccarello turns to the puck. Feeds it back. But goes in a one-timer off the shoulder of DeSmith and over top of the goal. On the left side with Miller and Besser as he's been for the last couple of weeks. There's a long shot knocked down by Gustafson. Just the second shot of the game for the Canucks thus far. Boldy gets it back. Again, Myers checks him, comes back. Merrill with a shot attempt. That hit Kaprizov. Wild get the puck once more. Kiro Kaprizov with a wrist shot into traffic. And somehow DeSmith found that with the glove. And he's able to hang on and stop play. Again, Merrill able to keep the puck in the bank. Good board work here by the Wild. Goudreau back to John Merrill. Long shot. Nice save by DeSmith with the right pad. Again, lots of traffic in front. Here's Goudreau all the way across. Shot from there by Hunt. And that was blocked on the way through. Canucks able to clear the zone. Damon Hunt in the lineup. Wild missing a couple of key defensemen. And Jonas Brodeen and Jared Spurgeon. Yeah, both those guys play over 23 minutes a night. Sometimes they team up to take on the other team's top lines. And without them, it's a bit of a greener D pairing. Pedersen with the turnover. Threw one on goal. Big rebound up the gut comes to McKayev. Ilya McKayev, long wrist shot wide of the goal. Was blocked on the way through. Now Hughes again. Drops off. Veronik with a shot. The blocker saved by Gustafson. Hughes tries and he hit the side of the goal. Beligowski around for Zach Bogosian. Carries ahead, fires up the left wing. Miller got a piece of that pass, but he gets through to Maroon and goes across. Tipped in. Goudreau on a centering feed. What a pass that was from Felino. And they're going to grab the puck because it's the 300th career point for Pat Maroon who started the play. Maroon tries to handle it, does so, puts it all the way across, and that stretches out the Canucks defensively. Goudreau to the net and deflects it backhand, just gets it by. DeSmith was moving to his right, but couldn't get there in time. And Felino was the one that recognized that Pat Maroon was sitting on 299 points. Oh, right there, yeah. Well, thrown on goal by Besser. That was kept out. Besser takes a look at the clock as Miller takes the pass in the corner. In front, Besser stopped by Gustafson. That's the look they wanted. And this is a little chip sauce. <laughs> and into the jersey there of Gustafson, who read it, got off the glove side post. Got it. As the Canucks, with the man advantage, look to equalize this game. First of a four-game road trip, and they're back at it tomorrow. Another early start time. As the Canucks take on the Chicago Blackhawks at New Pacific. He took his stick right off the puck. He was inside the blue line and then regathered it. We'll never know. No. Here's Garland sliding one through to Joshua. Puts it in front. Luger scores. They've got another one this line. Garland to Joshua to Bluger, and it's a 1-1 tie. All right. That's what you call a hard working goal. Causes havoc going to the front of the net. Here's the entry, and it's put towards the front. Bluger getting that shot pass kind of 
leading towards the front of the net from Dakota Joshua. And Teddy Bluger pops it up over the goaltender. That line could be a pretty big time here for the Canucks power play to come to life and get a deciding goal. Here's a lean pass. Miller's behind the defense. And stick save by Gustafson. And then Miller was dumped going after the rebound by Bogosian. The best chance of the power play. Here's this pass from Hughes. Shoulder fake and then all the way to the forehand of Miller racing in. Tried to go five hole on Gustafson. Was thwarted there. And then after this, here's Zuccarello. Moves down to the hash marks. Now loose to the middle. Feeds the goal line. Eric Sinek stopped by the Smith. Rebound loose. Shooter can't find it. Now he does. And he's able to bank it off the boards and outside the line. Passes to Patterson. Back to Queen Hughes. Minor penalty, Minnesota. Here's Kuzmenko. Taking the one timer. Moves towards the middle. Down low. Besser shoots. Stopped by Gustafson. Couldn't cover. He got a quick whistle. Though. Wild able to win the face off to start the period, and Brock Faber sends the Canucks all the way back. Canucks were two for five in the two games previous to this one. Had been going through some power play slump, but still top five in the NHL, and a chance here to make a difference with the man advantage. But that pass is an errant one. Faber collects in the corner. He'll take his time before sending the puck off the boards and hit the lines in the center. Deflected right to Marcus Foligno, who's trying to get a chance shorthand. He cuts in front. Poke check. Loose puck. And to Smith able to clear it to the side. And he goes right around or tries to on Quinn Hughes, who gives him a shove. For the Wild still maintain control. Here's Duhame stepping in shorthand. Makes a move down the boards. Now takes on Besser. Tries a sharp angle shot that hit the outside of the post. Or any other. Yeah, Thatcher. I figured forward defense. I figure it'll be uh, Thatcher death for tomorrow, won't you? You just said it. Here's Pedersen. Wrapper up try! And Gustafson able to get the paddle now, make the save, and cover the puck. Elias Pedersen, who had a wraparound winner on the homestand. Create space. There's a battle in front of the net. But Pedersen does that quick whip. And after he gets a step on Goudreau. You can see Gustafson go there. He doesn't even use his Holmlander joined in the second period. Myers, long wrist shot. Gustafson the save. Holmlander on the rebound. Ooh. Put it off the side of the net as he backhanded one towards the goal. It was a bit of a mosh pit at the front of the net. He's battling and comes up with it. Slimmy went off the glove in the side of the net. And this leaky save by Gustafson. Right. Joshua, or maybe Juleson got in front of it. That'll be the last play of regulation and these teams will each pocket a point and head to three on three to just try to decide this game i played over 30 minutes last game favored it wild will control first caprice out now turns back to the blue line wild. not the greatest overtime ever so far garland attacking from the side cuts in front couldn't put it home and gustafson able to Cover the puck in the crease after Vancouver's first foray towards the opposition goal. Come up big because Hughes is looking for an opening. And then he hands it off to Garland, driving the net onto the forehand. But Gustafson keeps that left pad down, and there's no room to slide it. They're going to run out of time. He'll try a long one that misses the net. And after five minutes of something, we're going to get to a shootout. Bit of a chess match with no clock. Leading it off for Minnesota. In off the left. Scores! Yeah, it just slows down and then pulls the trigger at the last moment. Give Minnesota a real stranglehold on this tiebreaker. He comes in off the other side, tried the same thing it looked like. Exactly. And the goal that he scored that you saw earlier, he did the same move but tried to go over the club. There's no room there. And he loves to come in off the left from a sharp angle. And he's foiled. Seemed indecisive. In round two. As soon as you get it to your forehand, you have an option. But when he gets to his backhand and doesn't do anything, then he's kind of handcuffed himself. Doesn't have the room to come back to the forehand and is stuck. And he's stopped by Gustafson. Minnesota improves to 7-2 under John Hines.
Canucks get a point. Let's see their win streak end at four.